Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Okay, so today we are talking hair products. Now, if you've ever watched my channel at all, hopefully you would have, and it's all about hair products. I very, very much enjoy reviewing different products and sort of coming to my channel and letting you know how I get on with them and my opinion. What I would say is, if you do like my channel, absolutely, why not subscribe? That's the first time I have said that, but I would like to try and push forward because it's going well. I'm having a lot of questions and I'm getting a lot of people ask me questions about hair and things and what I would do in my situation. And I'm really, really liking it. So certainly if you do want to, I would very much appreciate that. OK, let's go into the clip. So today we are looking at a hair product, which is a pre-treatment and this is for volume. Now, if you're doing a style like what I've got today and this is very, uh, it's been cut into my hair recently. I just had about three and a half inches cut off. It used to be to my top lip. Now it's sort of way up here. So I lost about three inches, maybe even shorter than that actually. And I've had some texture cut into it. I've had it with thinning shears cut into it a little bit just to help my hair stand up a little bit more choppy, a little bit more modern, a bit more neutral, um, rather than being so professional, so smart and sleek all the time. It's nice to have a style to do that, but it's also really, really nice to have that versatility and making it really youthful and throwing that up a little bit and just in terms of style. So I'm always looking out for different products which help me. I have fine hair and I have quite a lot of it, but it can often sit quite flat. So I'm looking at doing a style like what I've got today with texture and I want that bit more height in it. I want a bit more sort of liveliness to it. I want a product that's going to help me with that. And I don't really want to be spending ages with a blow dryer. Um, and as a man who really wants to be doing that all the time if you're not going for a style like a pompadour or something which takes a lot of volume. So the product which we are doing today is from the Bedhead range. Now I didn't really know a lot about their styling products in terms of uh, what they what they offer and the treatments and things. Um, so this is a product which I purchased and it's I'll go into it why I've done that face because this really I found was a little bit misleading. Um, and I wouldn't be using this product again. Um, very often I'm talking about that products should be for men and women. Um, very often I have spoken on my channel that most of the people who have thinning and fine hair are men and of course want to look good as well. Yes, of course, absolutely women. And it is an absolutely devastating ordeal to have whether you're a man or a woman. But products very often can be categorised to just man or uh, a man or a woman. And I kind of tripped up on this, really, because this is a product which I'm going to show you now, and it's by the Bedhead range. Now, you can probably see I've used this and I actually gave this to my mum because it's not a product which I intend to use because even though it is good. Um, so how did I start off using this product? So shampooed hair, conditioned hair, and then it's a pre-treatment. So this one here. So let's tell you a little bit about it. So it's motor mouth and it's by Bedhead. This is 240 mils. I think I paid around eight pounds for this and I bought it from Amazon. Um, very often you'll know from my channel, I'm always looking at different products, different treatments, different sprays to start your style, first of all, to give you that good structure and sort of almost like uh, that help to make your hair thicker and fuller and then going in to style your hair. So whatever helps you and makes your hair styling it easier, I'm willing to give it a try. So here we go. Let's go into it a little bit. So you must have a sense of humour to use our products. We can't uh, we can't keep this a secret. Your favourite thickener with shine injection and added UV glow for gloss addicts who just can't keep it on the lowdown. OK, to use, uh, use two to three pumps on wet hair, blow dry and style as desired. OK, for ultraviolet glow, apply product liberally to individual sections of hair. Wash hands thoroughly after use. OK, now there's a little clue there. Wash hands thoroughly after use. Hmm. We'll get to that in just a moment. So it's mega volumizer with gloss. Now, I took from that that it helps your hair stay nice and shiny and it helps your hair look healthy and it gives your hair volume. So I went from shampooed conditioned hair. Didn't actually use a blow dryer the first time I used it, um, but I have used a blow dryer with it. Um, after that product of using it, thought no more of it, shook it into the style I wanted it. Quite similar, it was qu quite similar actually to how I got it now. Um, this isn't a product which I have, I've used this several times, but I, I'm not telling you today that the style I've got now is through using this product. I will go into how I styled my hair in just a moment. Um, but this product I've used about four times. Exactly. And then gifted it actually to my mum because it works much more for women's hair. Um, so does it give volume? Does it give thickness? Does it give texture? 
Yes, it does. Not majorly. I would not say from what it says on here, you're going to have huge amounts of volume. It doesn't work that way at all. Um, it gives your hair a little bit more resistance, a little bit more structure. Um, but it's kind of almost like that you have sprayed a little bit of hairspray in your hair um, and you've got that resistance that way. Yes, it's quite soft. But then when you get it fully dried in your hair, it does give it a little bit more, I'm sorry to say, a bit more of a straw like texture, which is OK because you've still got that slight softness. But in parts, it does get a little bit like that in texture. Smell. For me, it's got a really nice smell, but it does slightly remind me of like children's medicine. I remember when I was small, it smells like that sort of banana sort of smell what they say is banana smelling um, medication for children, which actually is quite sweet, isn't it? Um, but yes, that's what it reminds me of. But quite nice. But could be a little bit sickly, I suppose. Is the product good at what it does? I didn't find that it creates any shine at all, or any natural shine. In fact, I wouldn't really class it as a fantastic volumizer or giving me a great treatment at all. It's good, but it's not fantastic. Is it worth the money? Yes. Would I buy it again? No. And here's why. So I was out with, I was actually out with my mum and I was, I didn't really think no more about it. As you don't, when you style your hair and you leave it and you're ready to take the day on, you don't really think too much about your hair um, or question how it looks. So anyway, I was, I think I was in our local town centre with my mum and she happened to turn around and say to me, what's, what, what have you got in your hair? Have you, have you touched glitter or something somewhere? And I thought, no, thought no more about it. It wasn't until I happened to sort of look past the mirror um, in, a, in a clothes store and I looked at my hair and it was glitter. The gloss what was in this product was glitter. I happened to then look at my hands and not majorly, but I had sort of faint speckles of glitter on my hand. Of course, I hadn't fully washed my hands after I styled my hair just very quickly under running water. Didn't think to use soap or anything. Why would you? It doesn't say on the packaging that it has glitter in it. If it did, I wouldn't have bought the product. It's certainly not for men's hair. Some men might like that. I can't think many. And that's certainly what I wasn't looking for. Natural shine in hair, yes, absolutely, and helping create thicker hair, certainly. Would I want glitter in it? No, no, not at all. So for me, in terms of that, nowhere does it say on here, in my opinion, because somebody might trip me up and say that actually it does, but I can't see from the ingredients, perhaps there's another word in beauty products or hair products or or the hair industry for glitter or for men's hair care or for women's hair care, but I can't find it. Um, and nowhere here, I'm just checking again, does it say glitter? It says ultraviolet, ultraviolet glow. To me, that wouldn't shout glitter. Um, and when I looked, I was horrified. I did not, I just thought to myself, this looks absolutely ridiculous. And because my hair was dark, you could see it quite clearly and quite evidently I had glitter in my hair. So I left what I was doing and I went home absolutely washed the product all out and redone it again because it was awful and I really don't know how a product can can do that and say it gives you gloss when it's artificial isn't it it's artificial shine it's got glitter in it that's not giving me shine at all that's not making the natural properties of my hair stand out which is very often the products which I look for is that they bring your natural qualities of your hair out creating more thickness creating more volume helping that perfect scalp environment to grow hair through thicker no this has glitter in it so but however turn that right around so for men's hair would not recommend it at all i'm always very on about that um or talking about products shouldn't just be aimed yeah of course they should but not all products for fine hair should just be aimed at women because you'll find that there's a lot less products out there which is just categorized for men with finer hair and of course everybody wants to look their best everybody does this i thought i mean to be honest that doesn't necessarily shout out to me that could be anybody it's quite cool packaging trendy modern doesn't say on here for women's hair after i've done a bit more research it's definitely for women's hair um but of course that's why i then said to my mum she she would like to use the product and she does um she's not very doesn't think highly of the product at all but she has very very long black hair so of course that glitter is quite quite lovely it's quite an amazing feature um but does it give huge amounts of volume i don't think so a little bit but nothing from a good amount of styling wouldn't do if you know what i mean or just an, uh, a can of hairspray it's like for example the style which i've done today i haven't used the blow dryer in my hair what 
at all. Um, I've just shampooed, conditioned my hair off this morning, and then literally, because it's shorter now, I've let it dry. And then what I've actually done is I've just grabbed a straightener, and I've just done the sort of the front section, not even with a comb, pulled it through, and then just quickly about three times through the front, and then the back, I've literally just shook my hair through, I've sprayed some hairspray on my hands through, and then I've literally I've pulled up some pieces, and then I've just sort of rubbed it around a little bit, got some texture in there, and sprayed, and it's really nice, it lifts up from the back, and then from the front, shook it through, and then just pulled those pieces through, and then just sprayed it. And then here, took some pieces down on my fingers, sprayed it. Really like this because if I'm quite self-conscious about my hearing aids, it doesn't sort of draw attention so much. Um, and it's really nice, and of course you can keep going, you can you can create some nice sort of texturing pieces, and, and it looks quite cool. I have to admit, I really quite like it. And through where I've been today, I've been and visited my nan, nice relaxed environment, didn't really want to look too over the top, I always like to look smart with my nan, of course. Um, yeah, just amazing. So this look really, really works for me. And now it's short and I've had it cut into, sort of chipped into, which is taking the bulk out of the hair, which I'd recommend. Just because you've got fine texture hair doesn't necessarily mean that you can't have a shorter style and have it cut into. Because, of course, it creates texture. It creates that fullness because, of course, the shorter hairs stand up underneath, creating the longer hairs. And then it sort of pulls away from the scalp. So it's great. A product like this should work with you to create fuller hair as well. Of course, it would do. But glitter no so this is a product i can categorically say i will not be buying again sorry good quality product hmm yeah it creates some amount of volume um but no not for me i'm afraid and certainly not i can't think that why many men would want glitter in a hair product i think if you're going to do that it should certainly say on the product that it's got glitter in Okay, so just to recap, so I haven't used that product today. I don't say that very often. I haven't used that product today. I've used just hairspray. Okay, and and it's quite light. It's sort of it's been quite windy out today, and it's blown around. And sometimes it feels quite nice with air sort of blown <laughs> blown through. It's quite natural. It's quite cool, especially because I suffer with tinnitus, which is like a, a, a high pitched sound in your ears. Sometimes it's quite nice just to sort of have a bit more of a relaxed look. That's what I was going for with this product. That's why I looked at this product actually just going through some products in my room, came across this um, and yeah, thought, OK, let's have a look through which products I haven't reviewed. And I've got a couple coming up. This is the one which I really didn't go for. That's why we're doing this clip today. What do you think? OK, you may have tried this and you may think absolutely it's an amazing product. It's got a mixture of reviews, I think, online, but it has got very good reviews, of course, for women's hair. Um, but there we go. OK, thanks very much for watching my clip today. I really hope you've enjoyed that. I certainly have. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye now.